Good everyone, and welcome to this video, and today it's a battle I had grinding Operation Heat that I wanted to share with you. Um, and in this battle, I was playing with Russian 4.3, which a lot of people were playing with. So, Russia 4.3 was probably one of the best decisions in this event. Um, other than using the R3T20 to rush caps and things like that, that was a great choice on my part. And a lot of players tended to copy sweet with the R3. They used to just rush into caps and things like that. I don't blame them. It gets it done much faster. Originally, the lineup consisted of the Yak-9T and the LA-5FN for air support. But then I changed it out for the Peshko because the Peshko can carry two 500 kilo. And, well, as much as I love the PEA, I see it as a bit impractical. Because you drop the nuke and... Knowing my luck, I would end up team killing someone. So, with the Peshka as well, you get offensive and defensive armor, you get more maneuverability, and you're less likely to be shot at by anti aircraft fire. Well, at least I find. So, in the lineup, obviously, we use the T3457. Very nice tank. Um, bit, bit of a mixed bag, this tank is, to be honest, though. Um, the turrets can be penned. Well, the turret front cheeks can be penned by um, R3s, so can this driver's port, potentially. KV-1s this. This is self-explanatory. This is my steel... I, I nicknamed this thing the Iron Giant, even though it's... I know it's made of steel. But I nicknamed this thing the Iron Giant because it just... It can take such a battering. Not as much nowadays, but she does the job. Um, but I actually ended up getting two tasks done in this battle. This was on the third day of grinding when this battle took place. SU-85, pretty self-explanatory, got moved down to 4.3, used to be 4.7. Still fights Tigers because the Tiger went down to 5.3, but the 85mm D5S is perfectly capable of nailing a Tiger. Because while it's the same gun as the T-3485, it just doesn't have a turret. Planes, obviously I've covered the Peshka, so I'm not going to cover the Peshka again. And um, the Yak-9T, obviously, I use this for a bit of fighter support with a 50 cal and a 37, and also ground support. And um, it also helped a lot with getting assists done on tanks, because, or on planes, I should say. Because if you took a plane into tank forces, you could use that to... Well, you could use that to apply to air battles instead of ground battles. Such as if you sustain a plane to win, rather than a tank in mixed, well, in combined battles. Obviously the Peshka already covered it. But um, this battle is only going to feature DT-3457 and um, I had to get labelled a hacker in this one, but um, I didn't save the chat, but it was pretty hilarious because um, it was a private messaging discussion. Um, the R3 driver, which I'll point out, calls me cheap. I'm no cheap, trust me. So, let's jump right in and let's see what I got up to. There's a bit of a hint as to the results there. <laughs> this was an insane battle. I got two tasks done that I needed. And I think, it had, I, think I just needed three kills. So I took the KV-1 out, got it done in one game. So, it didn't take that long, to be honest, on day three. Day four took quite a while. Day 5 was a nightmare, and day 6 was even more of a nightmare. Honestly, some of the things that happened during this event, like, I got team killed deliberately twice. Um, I got labelled a hacker twice. Um, let me think what else. I've had teammates shove me out of capture zones to selfishly deny me a cap, even though I waited for them. I've had people threaten me, I've had people like push me into enemy fire, but everything. It's I've never had such an event grind. My event grinds are usually pretty bog standard. But not this one. Not Operation Heat. This was a unique one. I reckon for the team killings because I'm in TLL. Um CyberDev Gaming, <laughs> he's a bit salty, just like me. But, you can see this T-34 is 
Well, he's just stopped right before the cap. The T-34 there pushes people into the capture zone. So I'm like, okay, let's go in. And we'll get started with the capping. Obviously, I've already dropped on the B point. I don't believe I get anything with the artillery, if I remember rightly. It's been a couple of days since I watched this battle. So I'll do a burst off the top of my memory. I've had that many bloody battles. But um, this was actually a pretty fun grind on day three. Like I said, this was, this took place on day three. This was actually quite an easy grind for tanks. For planes, wasn't so bad. It was actually quite quick. Got the grind done in about four and a half hours, which actually isn't that bad. In my first day of grinding, I got it done in four hours, 15, so... It wasn't actually all that bad, like I say. People knock the grind for this event, it actually wasn't that bad. I, I have had worse grinds. I won ADS. But, even so. So at this point, I'm just pushing up to the B, or the C point, I should say. I'm on the heavy artillery barrage right now because, well, they're dropping artillery to try and flush out the capture zone. Because obviously, we do have a tank on the capture zone. And you can see, I'm just looking around. I've spotted this flak bus. But obviously, because the T-34 is so small, I don't have a shot at him. And to be honest, I don't want to shoot a flak bus if I can avoid it. So obviously, you can see another flak bus pulling up there. I'm thinking, ah, oh, shit. So I thought, right, well, I'll put one through the front. And it one-shots him. <laughs> it completely one-shotted that 88 flak bus, which was quite funny, in my opinion. So at this point, I believe I'm going to get caught off guard. Obviously, the Sherman it has just defended my rear from a stug, which I didn't see. But we're on the C point, and we're not capping. Obviously, I've spotted the R3, who I believe is about to die in a second to that T-34 that you've just seen there. Oh, no, I get the shot. But in a second, you're going to see where I'm going to get caught out. So, obviously, I'm pushing up. The KV-1 is hit. It's obviously attacking a KV-1B. I thought, well, I could push him, but I haven't really got the room for it. All three of us start pushing this KV-1B. But this is where I get caught off guard. I'm like, what the hell? This is where I get caught off guard. So I'm panicking, I'm reversing, I'm like, what the hell was that? It turns out there's a Japanese chaffy literally two feet behind me, which a teammate has kindly removed. I did panic a bit, I was thinking, what the hell was that? It turns out it was that burning Japanese chaffy, which you saw right there. But, I didn't have a clue, so I just kept on going. I've got the second capture now, and, well, onwards we go. Spoiler alert, I am going to get a lot of kills on all of the caps. And I'm going to do it all in this tank. <laughs> This is a nice tank, I will admit. R3 right there, teammate didn't kill him. I'll finish him off, third kill. I get an assist on the, on a flak bus that I dropped artillery on. <laughs> you can just see, we're pushing the enemies hard back. We are, we're pushing them hard. We're just, we're giving them a hard time, let's just say. Puma, blow his head off, fourth kill. And it's just a complete hellhole. But they can see I've just taken a hit from a plane. That was a duck, a Romanian duck, who's just he's taken out my machine gunner. But I'm not too worried about it. I'm just making sure I move out of the capture zone once I've got it, so that I can get underway. And obviously, I'm thinking at this point, okay. Well, I could have gone for the spare retard, but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it. I've still got a loader, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. However, A has been captured, and it's at that moment when I spotted this R3. I hit him, but I only take out the radiator. And if I remember rightly, this is the guy who called me a hacker. Like I say, if I remember rightly. So all I did was he's obviously decap C. I turned right. I knew we'd have to go to the left, obviously. 
I'll see if the replay shows it, but if not, I'll point it out myself. No. Oh, wait, no. There it is. So you can see tyre tracks. And I knew immediately there was going to be an armoured car around here. Or maybe even a truck. I mean, we had a Yag-10, but as you can see, this geezer's in our spawn. So I doubt it's going to be him. So I'm thinking, hmm, tyre tracks. Let's go have a look. Obviously, the tyre tracks have disappeared now. Sure enough, round the corner. Hello, R3. Ace in a day. Let's just say he had some very choice words to say in private messaging. Yeah, whatever. Doesn't bother me. I always find it funny when they try to accuse me of being a hacker with no evidence. I'm sorry, but why would I hack? I don't need to hack. I'm a good player naturally. So I'm on an ace, three capture zones. I'm moving into the C point to capture it again to get my fourth. <laughs> it's just, it's gonna keep going for another six minutes. This whole malarkey is. But I really enjoyed this battle. It, it really kept me on edge this whole time. And I had a lot of fun doing it. So at this point, obviously, B is being captured. I've just dropped artillery on it. And, well, I'm actually getting my spare retard now. So that means the machine gunner, which is sat in the front right, will be back in action. Which means if I take a shot to the turret, it's not a big deal. I still have a crew member left to take over that position. At least, in theory. Depends on how big the shell is that hits us. <laughs> T-34s aren't exactly spacious tanks. So I'm moving up, I'm heading towards the B point again, thinking, okay, let's see if I can get my ass over there. Unfortunately, missed out on the kill there on that Stug 3F. No big deal. Verbal win, the poor sod. I turned the turret away, because obviously I know he can pen us. He wounds the machine gun, and the shell ricochets up into the the actual vehicle, I start swinging the turret there, blows his head off, and then I put a round through the Panzer III, job done, 7th kill. And again, I push in the B point. I know there's not a lot of tanks in the town at the moment, so I'm thinking, okay, let's put the pressure on them. Normally I'd only do this sort of thing in a KV-1, but I'm not in a KV-1, I'm in a T-34. T-34's got good armor anyway. Uh, there is a NATO. Single shot, dealt with, the shell explodes in the crew compartment, which don't get how that makes sense, but whatever. And that's my eighth kill. I believe that is my last kill, if I remember rightly. Yes, it is. It's my last kill. So that's eight kills for me. But that is going to be my final contribution in terms of kills for this game. But at the moment, a Panzer 3J has just put a shot right through me. I don't know why he targeted me, yet there's a truck, there's two KVs, and there's an SU-122. But a T-34 politely blows his head off whilst I'm repairing my turret ring, and replacing the gunner, because, well, the gunner got shot in the face. I drop some artillery near their spawn, and, well, I know for a fact that A is under threat. But obviously, I haven't called artillery on A, I don't want to potentially team kill whatever's down there. So once again, I start making my way down there to go and capture the point. Forgot my fifth capture. So I think it's safe to say I'm doing pretty well for myself. And like I say, I didn't want this battle to go to waste. Um, this was a really exciting battle. I, I had a lot of fun playing it. Um, obviously, day three was a pretty okay grind. Day four and five were pretty uh, abysmal. I mean, four was uh, not the best, but it could have been better. Five was abysmal, because team kills. Six was pretty abysmal, but I got it done. I don't know why I fired around and around there. Don't ask me. <laughs> this is this is past me, from a, about six days ago. Well, no. Because this battle took place on... I'm trying to remember now. This battle took place on the 6th, and it's the 14th today, so I've got this. I've... Other videos that I've I've got um, 
loads of others that I've got to get through and everything. But I'm pushing this one back, so... Just, yeah, I'm just pushing it back, because this isn't really a series video. This is just something random that I like to include. But here I'm going to get my sixth and final capture of the game, and that is where we're going to end it. So not a bad result, eh? Hey, obviously we've lost, technically, we've lost two crew. But if we include the spare retard, it's only one. Fair enough, nearly two, because the gunner's about at it. But that is that. So pretty dang decent game for Operation Heat. Obviously this got me two tasks done. I then took out the KV-1 Zis-5, as I said, and got the final task done. On this day, I think it took me about two and a half hours to do the tank task, which is pretty average. At one point, I think it was day five, it took me about three hours, <laughs> but I got it done. Day six was about three hours. It, it just depended on the teams, really. And um, on day four was when I got team killed for the first time, and apparently it was my fault. <laughs> I don't bloody know. But, even so, like I said, um, it just depends on teams, depends on how teammates treat me, because, well, getting team killed isn't exactly nice, especially when they try to blame it on you, and they take their apology back after I basically call them out for doing it deliberately, which they did, and, yeah, just players in general, but... You get that anyway, you get it in air, but not as much. You get it in naval, you get it in tanks. You get it anyway. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys off. I hope you enjoyed today's video on the T-3457 with uh, Operation Heat Grind Battle that I wanted to save for you lot. And I will see you all on the next one.